Hello and welcome to this taste challenge. Recorded video, not live hangout, of Kentucky Gentleman versus Evan Williams. Evan Williams introduced in 1955, age five years, sour mash whiskey. Kentucky straight whiskey. Kentucky Gentleman introduced in 1949. Kentucky bourbon whiskey, a blend of 51%. Straight whiskey and 49% grain neutral spirits, aged at least at least 36 months. Now they're saying since 1879. Well, that's when Barton Distilling was established, but this is from 1949. Anyway, you can look on the Buffalo Trace website. They talk about this brand. Uh, they say it's good for relaxing. I guess I have enough left for one more taste challenge. Put it up against the Barton. 1953, the, Bar the very old Barton from Barton Distillery, one of the companies of the Sazerac Company. They own Barton in Bardstown, Buffalo Trace in Frankfurt, and, a, and many other facilities around the United States. Okay, yeah, they're both like uh, what do you say, amber? This one's lighter. The Kentucky German is. A shade lighter. That's probably because it's nearly half grain alcohol. I would assume that the Evan Williams should be easy to detect, but let's find out. We cannot get Kentucky Gentlemen in Louisiana. We haven't gotten it since October. 2014, okay? Evan Williams, of course, everybody has that. Noticeable wood, spice, rye spice, uh, an aroma commonly associated with whiskey, vanilla mint, all that. Smells like Evan Williams, black label, age five years. Faint whiskey notes, alcohol. Dried flowers. Nothing bad, just not a lot going on. Not a lot happening. You know, dried flowers too, so this has got to be Evan Williams because it's not as muted. Wood, wood, wood. Rye spice. Tastes really good. I think Evan Williams is a fantastic value. Sweetness, certainly charred wood, even though it's a blended bourbon, it's still a bourbon and it has to be aged at least two years in new, never be, you know, never before used charred white oak barrels. Or well, it doesn't have to be white oak, but that's typically what they choose. And this is coming from Frankfort, Kentucky. Um, that's, that's where ancient age comes from also. Uh, the Evan Williams is 86 proof. 43% alcohol, which gives it a little more character as well over the 80 proof, 40% alcohol, Kentucky Gentleman. I have no complaint about Kentucky Gentleman, honestly. There's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's, it's got more flavor than Canadian Mist. There's nothing rough about it. It's smooth. It's just bland. Um, you know, on the bland side. But if you could get it for $7.99, $8.99 a bottle, eh, you can't go wrong with it. Because some people like to I don't want to say be cheap, they just like to not spend a lot. Like, really not spend a lot at all. So it'll serve its purpose. Like they said, it's good for relaxing. It'll be fine. A college football game's on and you're going to sip some with water and ice or a mixed drink. It's fine. It's not. There's nothing wrong with it. We don't get that particular brand, like I said, but we get a lot of others very much like it from the same company, Sazerac, Buffalo Trace. We get Virginia... We get Kentucky Tavern, which is all straight whiskey, by the way. But we do get some other blends. Uh, Kentucky Dale, which is even less of a whiskey because it's only 20% straight whiskey. But there are, other con there are other blended bourbons. I know there are that we get. I just can't. I have to go through the list. There's all these lists 
you know, if I'm not looking at them. But you can go to a liquor store and just go down the aisle and look. And you'll see, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> and you'll be reaching down more, more than, you won't be reaching up, you'll be reaching down. Okay, but this one you'll reach, not quite to the bottom, but towards the bottom. <laughs> it's got to be Evan Williams. It clearly is. Okay, so, uh, Kentucky gentlemen, no complaints. I mean, if I was a whiskey drinker, and I drank it regularly, I would probably buy it. But as a taster, I mean, it's it's been done, okay? I've tasted it. I've gone through almost the whole bottle. i got a little bit left for another tasting against the uh, bar, very old bartender. It's probably not going to hold up because that's 100% straight whiskey. It's aged four years. Same proof, but, you know. So Kentucky Gentleman has a little bit more to offer than Kentucky Dale or um, and probably maybe a little less. It's very close there uh, with the Beams 8 Star. Beams 8 Star is a little strange because even though it's an 80-20 blend, 80% grain neutral spirits, only 20% pure whiskey, it's got, you know, it's got a little something to it. Um, that's an oddball item. I think you could maybe fool some people that they could think it was straight bourbon if you gave them a blind taste test. Yeah. Oh well, you know, this was no shock. But it was still interesting to me. You might you might be laughing at it, shaking your head, but uh Alright. Evan Williams keeps winning and winning and winning. Kentucky gentleman keeps not winning and not winning and but not so much losing. There really could be enough for two taste challenges as little as I drank when I did the challenges. Thank you for watching this video production.